$340 a month times six baby daddies is $2,040. A lot of people got something to say about the fact that I got six kids with six different men. So I'm just going to tell y'all why it is better to do it this way. If I had six kids with all the same dude, I get 34% of his income, which is only six eight. Uh. Child support six kids with one dude six thirty four of his divided by six eighty four kids with six dudes seventeen percent each three hundred and forty a month three forty times six two thousand and forty dollars. Yo, yo, yo. If I got six kids with six different dudes, I get 17% from each one of them, which is $340 a month from each one. $340 a month times six baby daddies is $2,040. So why don't you have six baby daddies? Why don't you work? Why have kids out of wedlock? See, if you just did not have kids out of work wedlock and worked a regular job, you can make more than two thousand and forty dollars. Two thousand and forty dollars. That that's nothing for one person. So imagine feeding six little minions walking around here. That's nothing. That's just cereal. It's not making. And you know what's crazy? This is like the mindset of a lot of people living off the government. This is how they really feel. They feel like, yo, man, if I just have more kids, I could get more money from the government. And they end up living off the government for the rest of their life. Don't be this person. This is not logical. I remember um, when I first got out of college, I remember I had a student loan debt. And then and I was on food stamps when I came to the city. I was on food stamps. And one thing that the student loan people said is that because I was unemployed, I couldn't pay my loans. They said if I'm unemployed for like 10 years straight, 10 years, that they'll forgive my student loan debt. They'll like. Throw, uh, for, uh, forgive it and throw it away i won't have to pay it whatever and at the time i thought it was yeah of course yeah i could live off the government at that time i was getting 200 dollars a month for food stamps 200 and i was like yeah you know this is great i could relax and you know do whatever i gotta do and i at 10 years i could just forgive but imagine if i worked a regular job if you just worked at mcdonald's in a few years if you just grind it out, work at McDonald's, maybe get a part-time job, you could pay off those loans in a few years and then start building wealth and then start uh, start your life. You don't have to be dependent on the government and stuff like that. You don't have to be dependent for anybody. It seems like it's logical, but it's, it's not. It's not worth the sacrifice. It's not worth suffering. It's not. I hope you didn't have these kids just to get two thousand dollars a month. You have six kids, two thousand, two thousand. That's nothing. I hope she didn't have these kids just for that. It's not worth it. You know, you're better off. She was better off, honestly, being feminine, being the best per woman that she could be, if in, in her early twenties trying to lock down that dude. Or she was better off by herself. She could probably earn. She would probably earn more money by herself. And then she was, you know, did the career woman thing and did the best job she could and land herself the highest value man possible. That would be the best bet. Then to get six regular dudes and get seventeen percent of their income. 
She's gonna live. These are the people that end up living off the government for the rest of their life, and they think it's normal. They think it's this fine. It's not fine. No, this is this is poverty. This is poverty. This is poverty. Sad, uh, but this is the mindset. Like I said, when I was uh, living off. When I was living off food stamps, you you start to you hang out with people that's living off food stamps. You uh, you 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 hang you you talk to the people. It's literally like a click. You know how they say when you're successful, you hang out with successful people. Well, guy, people in poverty hang out with other people in poverty. You have to, cause you 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 feel welcomed. Other people that the rich and fam rich and whatever, you can't relate to those people. You need to hang out with the homeless. So you have them hanging out with the homeless and you start to tell yourself in your brain that this is normal. This is this is the right this is the right thing to do. This is you start playing the victim like, oh, yeah, I'm the victim. Yeah, I'm definitely the victim. Society's out to get me. You can't really make a living. You can't really do this. You can't do that. I'm going to just live old government. Relax. Those people just relax. You heard it in the pandemic. People are getting unemployment while they're just chilling. I heard a story. <laughs> person went on unemployment they got unemployment they went to they went to like six flags or something with the unemployment money they just stayed at home and they went to six flags or disney world they said they're not working uh, ever again it was like some lady or whatever some two ladies I, I don't know what it was but what work work get your stuff together move get the ball rolling get a regular job i don't care if you gotta scrape gum off the floor work and get the ball rolling you, you can't be sitting at home anyway i don't know i'm going on a rant but what you guys think i thought it was an interesting vid uh comment like subscribe and i'll see you guys soon one 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 out peace deal with what mess exactly because i said that a woman should not put her life on the back burner hold up hold up exactly why we exactly why we after other races we as men have options now and don't have to deal with the, this mess here okay i think she's talking about white girls and dealing with a certain type of white races black girls deal with what mess exactly because i said that a woman should not put her life on the back burner for a boyfriend she should not cater to a man she's not guaranteed to be with see comments like this are proving my point y'all want mothers not girlfriends and you know you're not gonna get it from us so you go date other races to deal with your weak ass and your bullshit and think you're flexing on us baby you could never pull a bitch like me anyway so you don't have no choice but to go to the other side and baby y'all are not the only ones with options i could walk outside right now and snag me a tom dick or a hank best believe and he would cater to every need Y'all think y'all flexing by saying shit like this. Oh, we date other races. Baby, best believe when we see you with that, we know exactly what it means. You could not handle a queen. And when people see my man with me, they know exactly what it means, baby. I stand for strength, power. He has, he's an alpha. When you see a man with a black woman, know he has big dick energy. All right? He can handle this mouth and this ass. You're weak. Mm-hmm. You're a buster. Yo, 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 I'm gonna be real with you guys. I grew up, I grew up upstate and uh, upstate is, is predominantly white. I, I actually in the, grew up in the city uh, like until I was 10 and my teenage years were spent like upstate, it was predominantly white. And I will say this. Growing up as a kid, I was definitely intimidated by a black woman. I just, I just was. I, I felt like they were, they were just more, uh, like they were quick to rip on you. You know what I'm saying? Quick, quick to like roast you. They didn't care. They had a loud mouth. They were intimidated. They spoke, they, they, they spoke the truth. You know. So, growing up upstate, I actually was attracted to uh, white women more because I felt like white, white women, they, they kind of like black dudes. They appreciated them. That's just what I felt when I was in school, when I was in high school, when I was in even middle school and stuff like that. I was like, felt like white girls was 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 cool. Like they they appreciated black guys, and you know even through college, well, I felt like white women just was appreciative towards black guys. Um, 
And I still was a little, to be honest, I was a little scared on black women and stuff like that. You you don't really get to understand uh, black women unless you start dating them. When you start dating them, you get to understand them more. Because after college, I moved down to the city and I started dating like black women and stuff like that. And all this stuff that I had in my head it's true. They are more mouthy. I'm going to be honest. They are more mouthy and stuff. But it was a lot of the stuff was preconceived, too. You know, I was I was bringing that upon myself, too. And this is what women in general, your thoughts about them comes out. You know, so if you believe that, you know, a racist this or racist that is going to come out and that's going to be a turn off and that's going to force. But growing up, I did like as a kid, I did feel that way. So I don't I don't necessarily think that, oh, because a, a dude is with a white girl, you know, um, he's he's weak. A black dude's with a white girl. He's weak. It could be a bunch. It could be a bunch of reasons because, you know, I grew up liking white girls. And then when I moved to the city, I, I, I started to like black girls, you know, uh, but it was just a lack of understanding and experience, you know, so it's, it's not just one size you know, oh, he's just weak. You know, there's there's a lot of there's a lot of things that go go into it. And um, and, it, and it could be vice versa. Like just because a black guy is with a black girl doesn't mean he's alpha. You know, it doesn't doesn't mean that he's out. Al he's an alpha. You know, so it's just a, it's. I, I think at, at this point, at, at 2021, talking about race especially it, it doesn't it doesn't hold that much weight like now i mean i know a, a lot of women put a lot of emphasis on it and black women really 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 think like oh my god they really stuck on this black man white white woman stuff but right to be honest like in 2021 it's all over the place people are dating everything and for me right now it's just a matter of like preference like what whatever you attracted to and whatever you like as a guy if you if you want to explore that you know so that's my thoughts on it um what you guys think uh thought it was an interesting vid and i appreciate you guys for watching i'll see you guys soon one 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 out peace